Today, I feel like we should just you know, skip it. the basics and just get into a cheat code or something. Yeah, man. yeah. Hey, man. Cheat code to everything. You know what that means. When you hear that sound, that means the black market just opened. Let's go. So look, man, today in the black, well, first of all, welcome to the trap. Welcome to the black market. Thank you for having me. Man, this platform was created to highlight black people doing dope stuff, whatever it is. Black it's business, right. black entrepreneurs, black scientists, creative black people who are yes, trying sir. to do it independently. Who are Love doing it. it. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we need right. platforms like this that's going to highlight us doing good sometimes. It's only right. And today, we got y'all in here, man. Cheat code. Appreciate you for having us, man. You feel me? I got all my side notes right here, man. First of all, yeah, we, we got Quay and Jay Who right here. You know, they, they represent. He said, tell them where you from. I'm uh, from the Washington metropolitan area in Northern Virginia, Maryland, the whole 495. So shout out to the DMV. Yeah, I'm from Ghana, West Africa. Yeah. Back home. Shout out to the home man. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised. Shout out to all our yes, cousins sir. though that won't even know yet. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Facts, facts. The year of return is coming soon, you know what I mean? So that's what yeah, they waiting yeah. on? I mean, nah, you don't got to wait on nothing. It's but not. I'm saying, you said a year of return, you're like, they're like, look, I'm telling you, all the niggas coming back. Yeah, the year of return was actually last year. year. But every Officially. December, every but December, every December, every December, people go to Ghana, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's one of the hottest places to be in December. Yeah. Bro, we ought to put in the together world. something yeah. and just have a gang of us just show up. That's sure, a man. fact. That's the way. Let's get, let's let's, get let's right down to it, man. We'll get into all that later on, man. Tell me, tell us about the cheat code, first of all. Put us up on game. Man, yeah. so Chico, man, Chico is so much. It's um, it's it's our brand, it's our company, it's our community. Um, shout out to all the cheaters out there. Yeah. Um, shout out Chico to the Algo is a software we developed um, that, that helps users know when to get in and out of stocks, crypto, forex, anything with a with a chart on it helps you know when to buy, when to sell. Because a lot of times people don't know when to get in and out of a trade. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a software we developed called the Chico Algo. The Chico community is is a community of sixteen thousand uh, traders and investors. Cheaters. I call them cheaters, you know yeah. what I mean? People who are look, look, looking to learn how to beat the market, you know what I mean? How to how to get the information with a community of like-minded people to support and help along the way. So, yeah. so you you saying y'all created an algorithm, right? Mm -hmm. That lets people know when to buy stocks, mm -hmm. when to sell stocks, mm -hmm. when to hold them. Mm -hmm. Best times yep. to do all three. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it's crazy. It's so the main phenomenal. thing about it though is this, right? A lot of people look at it and they'll think it's like a magic pill, right? Mm -hmm. There is no magic pill to the market. You mm -hmm. know, that's the bottom line fact of the matter. But there are ways to give yourself an advantage. When you look at hedge funds out there, they got billions mm -hmm. and trillions of dollars that they're getting out the market. Yeah, they spend billions of dollars on tools to help them to stay a step ahead of you yep. and everybody else in the market. So we developed a similar type of tool for the average person to be able to get them an advantage, yeah. right? But you still gotta learn. You know, right. it's, it's not something you could just pop in and be like, oh, buy, sell, buy, sell. You gotta learn, you know what I mean? You gotta yeah. put in the work. How did y'all form this partnership? Man, crazy. I actually met this dude um, when I was still in my nine to five. No longer working my nine to five. You know? <laughs> never thought, never thought I'd see the day neither. Never Definitely, thought I'd see the day neither. Man, we've been in a few business ventures together. We were making, you know, a ton of money, and I still wasn't quitting my nine to five. But Chico was the one that freed me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out Chico. Now you were making a off. ton of money. Still wouldn't quit your still job. Yeah, a ton was, of money. It's crazy. Man, we 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 pull off. We used to. We had a uh, uh, like um. Uh, like a, home a water, improvement, yeah. Home improvement, but we also did commercial projects, right. water damage, restoration, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we bring, we, be, we get like a $10,000 check in a day. You know right. what I mean? I'm like, well, what are you, you know, why are you still working? If we yeah. focus full time on this, like, you can right. clock that every single day. And right. You still wouldn't quit. Yeah. You still it's wouldn't just, quit. It's just something about the nine to five, man. You know, it's like a mental blockade, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, comfortable. Yeah. It gets you comfortable. 
you know, you're scared to lose your benefits, this and that, and like all, Man, all this. Fuck yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But for the longest time, you know, we even traveled. We went on a trip, like you know, to Miami. It was like, yo, let's continue Ball the down. trip to like, you know, what I'm saying. And I found the that whole trip with, with stock money. You yeah, know, yeah, stock money. money. Stocks. I made like with thirty thousand on the trade. I was like, man, let's go blow this shit. We just went to Miami. Just, yeah, yeah. tweak out. Yeah, you gotta do that sometimes, yeah, man. You work hard, you play hard. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta blow some money sometimes, man. That's what keep the hustler spirit alive. Yeah, for sure. That's a fact, man. Yeah, so I met him through a, a different business venture, and then um, we got together. He was uh, one of my other uh, friends actually brought him on because he's been known for, you know, being operationally, you know, business acumen type of thing, being able to put systems together and whatnot. Hold so on one second. On. You known for that? Yeah, in my, in my, in my, in my like local niche. community, you know what I'm saying? So basically, like, people, yeah. I never had a nine to five. I got locked up 18 to 21. Man. I ain't even gonna yeah. listen to that last point. Yeah. I'm just gonna stick to the fact that you said you ain't never had a job before. Yeah. I can respect yeah. that. Now, yeah. I've had a little hustles and stuff like that. Like, I, you know, I came on 21. I, I couldn't really get a real good job that could cover what I needed. Mm -hmm. you know, right. I had a son on the way a year after I came home. Mm -hmm. um, I was in construction at one point and it just wasn't working. So I started trading from the porta potties. I was like, you know what? You know. Uh, once I started making more money from the porta potty than I did on the job site, I was gone. And I, I rolled up out of there as soon as, uh, as soon as I could. And so at 21, I just went full time into trading entrepreneurship. I'm 31 now, so it's been 10 years. So all my friends and, and people around in the circles, mm -hmm. you know, in the community, they know me for like always doing some some business, some mm -hmm. hustle, doing something. You know right. what I mean? So yeah, yeah. So that's that's how we met, man. And you know, Quay. I mean, if you've been around him, you're gonna hear something about the financial markets. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Song. It's what we eat, breathe, sleep. Like right. 3 a.m. We up talking about you know. This business is starting this. Their, you know, their management team. They just brought on this new CEO, CEO, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. So he just started talking, man. I'm somebody that's a sponge for information. You know, what I'm saying that I, I went to school, always been math and science, very, you know, open-minded. So I listened to him. We have these conversations, man. He'd be like, man, he was talking about the stock market crashing. Like he's like, yo, there's all these financial indicators, all these economic indicators that the stock market is gonna crash soon. And this was before COVID, mind you. This was probably six months before COVID. And he was talking about it, I'm like, man, like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm listening, I'm looking, I'm doing my research, I'm like, man, you're right, you know what I'm saying? Like, the market is looking overextended, and lo and behold, someone had ended up putting like a $100 million bet against the stock market at the time. And he was like, yo, look, you know, these institutional guys, they know something that, you know, us average people do not know. Mm. So I was like, man, we're paying attention to it, and lo and behold, COVID came, and the stock market crashed like crazy, right? Yeah. It's like 20%, some crazy. Uh, correction that they had in the market. And the person that put the $100 million bet against the market was able to make like literally billions man, of dollars. Crazy money, like huh? billions. Yeah. Like, so I was like, man, like, yo, this stuff, like, you know, this stuff, like, the back of your hand. More of us need to be, like, you know, informed about this. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to, like, I'm like, yo, this we need to, literally I forced literally to force this I man. Like, I don't like a lot of p talking, like, to right. people. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, I talk yeah, about, yeah. like, local group. He's an introvert. But I don't like yeah. a whole lot of, so he was like, man, he's a super extrovert, always. Talking yeah. to people, so he's like, man, I'm, he made his group, a DM group, like 16 Instagram people. Instagram DM, yeah. He was like, oh, you gonna teach these people and stuff. So I just, you know, naturally yeah. just went in, we host little Zoom calls and stuff like that. And so for the longest time, we didn't even do it. It wasn't even a business, nothing. It was just doing right. it just because we wanted to get the information out yeah. there. So it got to the point where 10 months later, we had like, you know, went from 16 people to like two, 3,000. And mm -hmm. they were like, yo, we got to pay you because, like, we just been giving up so much for, right. for free all this time, like, just hours and hours and hours like on calls. Like 12, 16 hours a yeah. day type of thing and on calls with different Chico people. Was like, born. Yeah, you know and I mean? that's, that's how it all came about, man. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, hats off to you brothers for yeah. even have, you know, the knowledge to even put something like this shit together. Like, right. that's really thinking outside the box. Appreciate yeah, it, man. Appreciate it, for sure. Just making that information available. Right. Cause shit, right. that's, that's the real wealth. That's the first right step, there. yeah. It, you know what, it's funny you say that cause I, I, always, I tell people like, you know, we talk about generational wealth, mm -hmm. right? But generational wealth is not always money. It's not always buildings. It's really information. Information, you know conversation rule the nation. Exactly, yep. like when you pass yep. down that information, you can, you can give a kid, a million dollars, and if you don't have the information, you're gonna blow it. I'd rather so know how to make it. People win the lottery it. all the time. People you can win give the lottery all the time. The information, like the, the yep. knowledge to go get it. That's yep. that's how you keep getting it. That's the real bad. Yeah. Really if scary. you can get one, you can you definitely can get two. The same. Yeah. You can. <laughs> Right. That's, exactly. That's, exactly. that's exactly what's important. Bro, exactly. When he just said a word, I, yo, I can't count how many times, man. Like, look, mm -hmm. I, done, I done got the bag, mm -hmm. blown the bag, went back to zero, and I went from 
like I, I told the story too when we uh, in the crypto market in 2017, mm -hmm. crypto went crazy. You know, a lot of people weren't even hip to crypto at that time. Right mm -hmm. now, everybody talking about crypto. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But at that time, man, I, I went from like five grand to 250k in like four months trading crypto. Right. One day, the market crashed overnight. Yeah. And I was over leveraged, lost 220 grand in a single night, and I was devastated. I was like, yo, you know, even though I had 30 grand left, I'm like. I'm used to the 250. I'm like, yeah, hey, I'm like, down to 30. Yeah. And then from there, I started to lose it all. Crazy. I had to go back, and I, a lot of my real estate money was tied in there. A lot of things I was doing at the time. I had to go back to, I went all the way back to collecting scooters on the side of the road. A lot of people don't even know you can get scooters and charge them up. Bro, mm -hmm. right, I go pick up scooters in the van and go, go all the way back to that. Yeah. You know, until I got a little bit enough to flip that into something and flip that back into the stock market. Because I had that skill set, it yeah. could rebuild. So it's all about the information. Once you got it, it never leaves you. You know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah. Well, look, man, yeah, what can, what can, what's the question, Kat? Okay, wait, uh, Elon Musk just sold about a billion dollars for the Tesla stock. Mm -hmm. But then he also bought back the Tesla stock for like that six bucks or some shit like that. Yeah, he options. About that the options. He was yeah. cleaning up, that he was cleaning up some bread. Uh, he yeah. Was, yeah, he was letting it go. He would let it go so he can buy it back cheaper. Mm -hmm. So I mean, so so pretty much you got you know a lot of these these corporate executives they have options, right? They get mm -hmm. paid in options, things like that. Elon Musk, his uh, compensation plan is tied to performance of the stock okay. and things of that nature, right? So what we've actually seen in the market right now is actually a record level of selling by corporate CEOs, mm -hmm. right? They're selling shares at a record level right now because. Like I said, they they always a step ahead, right? The market has had a tremendous run over this time. At the, at some point, you got to cash out. Mm -hmm. So what's happening is a lot of these CEOs are taking their chips off the table. Right. You know what I'm saying? In preparation saying, for who knows what. what. Right. You got you got the Federal Reserve right now that's about to kick up interest rates at some point, right? Because inflation's run rampant since COVID. Mm -hmm. Interest rates been low. Everybody money flowing freely, et cetera, et cetera. They're about to turn that spigot off at some point, right? Or slow it down. Mm -hmm. So that's not always going to bode so well for some corporate stocks. So a lot of times, what you're seeing is these guys are right. selling just, off shares and things like that to lock right. in those profits. And, right. You know, exactly. The, the whole thing with cash is a position type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just sitting on the sidelines, yeah. But man, it's just been so interesting that, you know, COVID did happen. Mm -hmm. Now we got to see, like, guys like y'all just come out Crazy. and really have the platform where people like, mm -hmm. hey, man, shit's so bad, we listening. Just uh, right. <laughs> give us the game. We don't know what the market about. Right. Tell me something, yeah, young man. And then yeah. it's like you see a lot of young black men coming out, like Aristotle, and then mm -hmm. you see, like, Derek Grace, mm -hmm. yeah, like to all Tony yeah, DeClose, all, all the people who are in the finance industry yeah. and they're coming yeah, out Troy, with this information Troy, Shaw, that we yeah. should. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. shout out to Ernie Leisure yeah. and, and uh, Wall Street tra Traffic and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the information is becoming more available than yeah, I've seen it ever. in yeah. my yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's from the younger generation, like mm -hmm. black men, young, mid 30s, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it makes me always wonder what, what what we could have been if somebody would have came and kicked wow. a piece yeah. of that knowledge. Hey, listen, it's crazy. You, you, ever, you ever heard them say back in the day, they, they say, you know, you ever want to keep something from a black man put in the book? Right. Yeah. Right. That's no longer the case anymore, right? Nope. Like this generation, you know, even the generation before, I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer that, you know, given the opportunity and the, and the resources, right, we go get it. Right. Right? Because mm -hmm. we always been hustlers. Like if you go back at any point in time during Business black history, we've always yeah. been hustlers. Yeah, somewhere. but see now that's turning to caveman talk, bro. Like yep. the way that the world is moving right now, we're gonna have to Light years. everything we ever been taught about some money was wrong at mm -hmm. this point. And now that we finally touched a little bit, we gotta change they the crypto up, they yeah, yeah, to yeah, the metaverse. Man, we got <laughs> we <laughs> learned you know, money the all over again. Yeah, nah, <laughs> I can't imagine my grandma in the grocery store. But now Baby, they wanna accept this Bitcoin, they got to pay cash for them onions. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's crazy, That's man. Fact, the, man. The way education is going is just, it's just a different <laughs> vibe now. Like, and we're not learning through, like, even, like, books as much anymore. It's social media. It's, you it's know, YouTube. conversation. You YouTube. It's YouTube. You podcasts. You podcasts. It's you oratory. Yeah. And, you know, as, as black people, if you go back way back to our ancestors, that's how we learn. That's the best way that we learn. Right. Coming back from Africa, it's like, you know, we tell stories by firesides. Like, a lot of information is passed through generations through stories, right, which is sound and, you know, sound manipulation and things like that. So, I mean, today is just the information is out there. It's accessible. You just said something, yeah, bro. Nah, you social just said media. Because so podcasting it's like, is, like, is like the new fireside chat, chat really. Exactly. Yeah. You, you said, yeah. you know, around the bonfires and right. stuff like that, exactly. talking and passing stories down yeah. from generation to generation. 
you know, this like, is really that, that new now platform. Now this is so, the story. Yeah, it's it's like, okay, now if the information and the story we're going to pass on to the next generation yeah. is financial literacy. Let me ask you better. this, yeah. like coming from Ghana, what right. are some of the some of the things you learned about money coming from a whole nother country than coming here and then right. get, like having yeah. to relearn this system? Right. What so are some of the say, things that you came with that stuck with yeah. you from so your I would background? Say, um, I would say... One of the one of the number one things. So coming back home, just to give you a little background, my mom was, you know, um, the head of like we had like a little convenience store back home that was like our family house, like we owned that store, and my mom would go out to get stuff, and I'd be like the one in front of the store. I like six years old, I was already doing transactions with grown men, and people couldn't cheat me just because of the you know the background that we come from. Because they ain't had a cheat code. Yeah, right. they ain't had to, yeah, but nah, it's crazy. Um, it was just I was always business minded. You know, it was like it was not an option. Being business minded was a survival, you know, like like a survival sense, like a second nature that you had to either you adapt or you really don't make it. You know, what you mean? get so, eight. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a jungle mentality. But um, from there to now, um, differences that I would say from there is just the fact that there is no such thing as credit. Other people's money OPM doesn't exist mm. back home. If you have to pay for rent, you pay the full 12 months up front. Mm. If you have to buy a car like a Range Rover, you buy the entire thing up front. Yes, yeah. But if you come here, there's the opportunity of using other people's money to be able to finance different projects to a certain scale, which is crazy. And people don't even take advantage of it. Like, you know, we, we sit down and say, my, like, when we have these conversations, just comparing back home to here, it's just like coming from back home, like knowing the fact that I didn't have the opportunity, like, you know, certain features that you guys have here, it's just like, I see just opportunity, you know, just straight up. I'm just like, the sky's the limit. There's no limits. There's no reason why it can't be Elon Musk. He's a human being just as much as we're human beings. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's just, there's just no cap to like, you know, just how high we can go and how, you know, it's just yeah. other people's money, man. Fun. I hope you heard that. Yeah. yeah. I hope you heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. People sitting around right now waiting on some opportunities. Yeah. Get off your ass if you want to be rich, man. That's Let them know where they can tune into your program, subscribe to your program, right. get in that group message, yeah. all of that. Where can, how can they be a part of the cheat code, man? We got some 85 sure. percenters yeah. who I know about that paper and they want to get down with the cheaters, man. Yeah, for sure. So mm -hmm. our Instagram is cheatcode.tv. Chico, C-H-E-A-T-C-O-D-E dot TV. Um, you could also check out our website, Chico.us. And then um, my personal Instagram is the real Jehu, the real J-E-H-U. And then you got Quay. And mine is Quay dot trades, K-W-A-Y dot trades. Mm -hmm. Do not send nobody that look like me or none of that shit, no Bitcoin and yeah. none of that DM yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, you got a lot of big profiles. Do not do it. This man about his business. He ain't I'm about all that. I'm not going to DM you for no money. So yeah. all the, they got yeah. a lot of fake pages. I don't know why Instagram don't do something about that stuff. But yeah. I don't know either. Yeah, it's crazy. If you call somebody a bitch, you is in trouble. Right? It's right. Crazy. Exactly. It's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, you can nah, record these people all day long and nothing. they never get rid yeah. of them. Nah, we got to get it. Then they'll flag your shit for reporting everybody. Crazy. It's crazy. Nah, but yeah, man. Yeah, man. I appreciate you guys having us, man. Definitely. Hey, man. It's your first time over here, but it definitely won't be the last, man. I wish you, time. brothers, much success with the cheat code. And for sure. I'm going to sure. definitely hit you and see what I can invest I in and when to buy and when to sell, because that's just too yeah. good of an opportunity to, to pass. Yeah, yeah. 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 Each Anytime, one, teach one is our motto. Yeah, yeah. nah, exactly. we, we all about that, so yeah. exactly. definitely. And, look, and, and one thing we always got, you know, along that same line of thinking, man, anytime we teach something to somebody or somebody, we t encourage anybody who does have something valuable to share with somebody, teach the next man, you know, even if it's yep. your niece, your nephew, cousin, mm -hmm. brother, whatever it may be, because that's the only way we get about the situation of, you know, economic, the economic situation we're in as a community, as a culture, you know what I right. mean? So, for sure, sure. sir. So sure. I'm going to get us out of there. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I'm about to be the let's black go. Elon Musk. Let's when go. I get, when, I get my, when I get my paper, everybody straight. Everybody, the whole community. We need that. Need Everybody that, don't fuck with you getting paid last, but we I'm letting that. you know. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We need man. a hero out here. Y'all need a something fact. to believe That's in. It's a, a fact, man. I keep telling people, you know, it's like, if you ever imagine Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos working together, that's what we got going on right now. And people Word. just don't know, but don't know. You know that's what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Don't know. Right, God damn it. All yeah. right, man. Well, look. Like I said, much love and success to you, brothers. Don't let this be the last time y'all stop for sure. Here. For sure.
Y'all came through and dropped the cheat code on me. Yeah. The black market's still Shout open, out. man. Let's take a picture right quick, man, so they'll know. Put this one in the history books. Yeah. 